Hi, and welcome to The Legend of Axon, episode number f 17. That is the right one, number 17. Done a few things. Look, my unbreaking pick is actually breaking quite heavily, and I've got full bag full of cobble. I have done a lot of digging. It looks more than it actually is. Uh, I basically just done a two wide gap around the outside of the spawner, so it's completely revealed. Oh, what's all this? <laughs> I've done the exact same thing with the other spawner. Um, I just basically put windows in where the mobs drop down so you can see them. And I need to come off of peaceful mode because it was a bit annoying having all the, you know, the monsters accumulate. But anyway, um, just dug around the outside of it. Underneath this, this is where they get transported into it. Blah, 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 blah. It's around the outside of the spawner as well. And outside there, I've done the same with the other spawner, so it's a lot clearer. Right, so this is all clear. This has been dug around as well. There we go. Exactly the same as the last one. Now, what we're going to do this episode is first, I'm going to enchant something else because we're level 50. And 1.3.1 is out at this point, but the backpack mod is still for 1.2.5, so I haven't updated yet. But what we're going to do is um, enchant this pick at level 50. It's probably going to be our last level 51. I'm hoping the backpack mod gets updated by the time I upload this. Because I haven't uploaded episode 16 yet, so... Anyway, um, what we're going to do is we're going to make the little rail cart system that will make all of the mobs, you know, spawn at the same time. And hopefully it'll be really cool. And it'll be a nice novelty. Even if it doesn't work as well as I want it to, it will still be a novelty. And we'll try and get the rail cart system started for the nether and the enclosure so that ghasts can't, you know, completely wreck my face. Right. What do I have? Oh, I need to get me some diamonds. I'm debating what mod to get on the next... Uh, 10th episode, you know, episode 20. Let's get number th three of them. Uh, yeah, we've got enough now. We need to make something. We need to make something desperately. With the uttermost of care. But it'd be nice enchanting stuff in 1.3 because... Oh, could you imagine in 1.3 consistently having a level 50 at the bottom instead of having to do this fucking shamble crap over and over? What the hell? Ah... <laughs> Stupid me. <laughs> That's the reason that didn't work. There we go. Right, I'll be back when I get level 50. She's starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> I've been going for about two minutes straight and I haven't fucking... I've got 49, 48, 48, all the way down to fucking 1, but no 50. Ah, can't wait for 1.3.1 to have the backpack mod in it. Holy shit! Must have been going for five minutes fucking straight by now. So many 45s and 40s and 49s. Let's see, if I get 49 again... Oh, fuck it, I'm going straight for the 49 if I get it. It's close enough to 50. You know what? I'm getting too annoyed. Fuck it, 46. <laughs> okay. Difference between 50 and 46 is very, very, very not even there. Okay, uh, <laughs> right, we're going to dump a lot of this shit off. Away with you. And I'm going to clear out... Oh, fucking hell, need more bags. Have I got enough? Have I got any... Oh, I only need two. Right, where's my tool bag? Handy little tool bag. I can go and murder... Oh, yeah, that's something else as well. Somehow my fucking pigs have gone. So, I might have to get new ones. If uh, if that's what I'm going to have to do. Or I might just take the cows into... Uh, I might make a, you know, a double big one for the cows. Which would make a little bit more sense. Because they're more useful now that they've got the mod for them. Well, come here, you cunt! Come here, mother... Fuck! Oh, you sneaky little cunt! Yeah, and you. Oh, there we go. That's all I wanted. Right, now that that little fucker is dead and it stopped avoiding me, we can make ourselves another backpack, we can. If I only have an ink sack or some grey dye. I don't have any ink sacks. Glorious! Right, I'm going to go get some, make one, and then put it in there. No, not yet. Fuck it. Don't need it just yet. I will refrain from it. 
Let's put any shit in there. Beef. Let's put our stuff in there for now. We're going to get more stuff along the way anyways. Right. Meet you back at the place. A shame about my pick. I was hoping to get an efficiency pick at least. I'm breaking's not the best of one. I mean, it's good because, it, you know, you got like five or so, you know, di the equivalent of like five or so diamond picks. But at the same time, meh. It's not really anything to shout about. So what I want to do is make a line directly from this corner this way. And then that should let us see the whole of that. And then all we need to do is get in range of both these spawners and that one at the same time. So I'm going to clear this out. We'll see what it looks like. Okay, mission accomplished. I just had to go back to my base and get the rails and the shit. Oh, I forgot. Fucking minecart, didn't I? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. Right, anyway. um, Why? I've just done exactly what I said I would. I just dug through the wall all the way to there. And not a scratch on my fucking pick, which is sweet. I might just take this out by a few blocks. Because I think that might make it a bit better. Just because then you'll be able to see more of everything and it won't look like there's a huge wall in the way. Just get rid of this because it's very small. Didn't use that because I want to. Because I'm a fucking diva. Yeah? Fucking diva in it, bruv. <laughs> Alright, one more bit. Oh shit, I just broke it. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six. <laughs> Okay, um, something a little bit annoying, as of this point, there is no more live commentary, for whatever reason, the computer decided, hey, I'm not going to save this shit, so, I will do my best, <laughs> to, uh, try and emulate what I was saying, but anyway, um, this might be good, this might be terrible, but, we'll find out, but, I, fuck it, I won't take as if I was actually doing it, I'll just speak as though, when I was doing it. So, I'll just try and pick off where we left off just now. And I realised I said it was episode 17, it's actually 16. Um, but anyway, uh, this area here, which is where the little doorway was, where we were hiding, where all the, uh, where, we'd, where we'd be getting all the mobs and stuff, is roughly where we're going to put the first, uh, the second uh, docking station. But the first one's going to be here. It's basically be going to be um, a stopper for the minecart, which is these stone bricks. And then it's going to have the rail carts on it. It's going to have a powered rail at the start with a detector rail, two rails out from it. And it's basically going to send a delay, a signal, for when you hit the um, the detector rail. It's going to send a signal, a redstone signal, across a delay. Then after a few seconds it will activate the powered rail and send you back. So it will keep sending you from one station to the next and it should activate all spawners one after the other. It's probably not the most effective thing, and there you see me failing because I had cheat mode on because I was using creative mode on something. I can't remember what though, but... Yeah, probably not the best of things. And for some reason decided to turn it to peaceful because <laughs> that's really going to make much of a difference when you're on cheat mode. I was going a weird place right now anyway. But anyway, looking at the recipe because I have no idea what to do. And I'm playing with the sound off yet again, which I need to learn to not do. And it's a bit annoying that the mod is not updated for 1.3. I'll have a look right now. As of now, it's the 6th of August. And I'll have a quick check. Um, I actually need to go onto YouTube first. Um, let's, I don't, you know, seeing as this is not any more a live commentary, I'll go over the essential bits. Uh, as we get to them. Basically the power rail is going to send me back and the detector rail is going to be in a spot whereas that um, it will not affect the powered rail when you go over it. But I had a little bit of problem here with getting the tracks to all sync up because if you go the other way you'll just hit that block straight away and you won't go anywhere. So that's me uh, messing around and trying to get this to work properly and failing. And the recording actually stopped at some points as well. Because, um, well, unbeknownst to me, I used up all the space on my one terabyte hard drive for Minecraft videos. <laughs> that little jump cut just then was when it, the f recording failed and I had to restart it. And it basically mucked this video up, so this is why it's a little bit shambolic. 
that it's not really in a nice order. At the moment, I'm cooking up stone to make repeaters for the delay. I must have done a bit of work up till then. But anyway, seeing as this is not a live commentary, I can talk about things other than the game for a little bit because it's very hard to talk about something other than Minecraft when you're playing Minecraft. At least it is for me. I'll go on what something new in my life as it is right now because I haven't really shared anything about myself other than the fact that uh, I like to swear a lot. <laughs> Um, basically I'm going to university in September to study film and television production and that's uh, something that's going to be really interesting and fun for me. I'm going up to a place called Greenwich in London and if you know what the centre of time is, Greenwich Mean Time, so the centre of the world's time is in Greenwich. Um, that's a little bit of a dibbly dibbly do for you. Oh fucking hell. I was trying to, <laughs> trying to copy the link for the backpack mod so I can get this. Leave page, yes, leave page. And um, everything was going a little bit weird. I had a few years off because of the because of shit with um, the uni I was meant to be going to originally, which is not as good as Greenwich. Um, basically, just cancelled my course and fucked me over. But anyway, um, I got an email about my accommodation. I had, th I definitely have the course, student finance. You know, getting all the money for the course and everything. That's all going through nicely. But accommodation was something which was a bit sketchy. And I got an email <laughs> saying uh, you have three days for the deadline to apply for for the accommodation. And I missed it by two days. Didn't get the email until two days after the deadline. I didn't read it till two days after the deadline. And I basically shit myself. I thought, fuck, three days for a deadline for something that important. So what I did, I sent them an email saying, you know, I missed the deadline. Is there any way I can get my spot back? And I got an email back saying, I am on, like the person I'm sending it to, I am on leave for the next few weeks. Oh, <laughs> great. Fucking fantastic. So I sent um, one to the urgent email address, which is something you you can do if you have an urgent question. I sent it to this guy at Greenwich, and, well, sent it to the accommodation in general at Greenwich, and they said, send me back an email saying, uh, we've extended your deadline till 5 p.m. today. And I thought, holy shit. So, um, you know, I sent an email back saying, yo, thanks, that's, <laughs> that's amazing. And I phoned them up after I accepted the thing online, by the way. I accepted it online, and then I phoned them up. And basically, <coughs> I've paid the full £400 deposit for my accommodation. Everything is sorted. I'm in a really happy mood. I recorded amazing... Well, I'm going to record some amazing guitar jams. Just because, well, they're fucking great. I'm not quite sure how much of this is interesting on the screen, but we can at least use this to our advantage to get a little bit of screen time. Because I think the rest of the uncut footage is just about the usual length of a video anyway, so I can keep talking. And I've got the backpack mod out at the moment. The um, the link on the forum, the Minecraft forum's up, and unfortunately it's still 1.2.5. But you never know, it might be 1.3.1 by the time that I upload this video anyway. Because I haven't uploaded 15 yet, I don't think. I'm up to 14. I'm going to try to stretch it out a little bit. Um, the next mod I'm going to install... Uh, if no one comments, I'll choose again. But it has to be a small mod. It can't be something massive. It can't be Billcraft. It can't be Mo Creatures. It can't be Red Power. Um, it's got to be a really small mod. The backpack mod, all it does is add another inventory selection for you just adds a little way of um, increasing your inventory on the go and you know having things in your inventory that you can't lose because of the magic backpack I mean something small that adds maybe one or two items into the game that's 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 acceptable something that changes one mechanic that's acceptable but something that changes the whole game itself noticeably that will take away from the I mean, I mean, even though we've got the backpack mod on, it still feels like a vanilla Minecraft because the mod is so small. I mean, obviously, it's not vanilla because they've got one mod in it and we're going to keep adding mods. But anyway, uh, you've seen I've done quite a bit to the track. Uh, this must have been what happened off camera in the time that the recording stopped and I didn't realise. But anyway, minecart time. Let's see what I've done here. I know exactly what I've done. I've done the wiring, I think, underneath. And I was just trialing and erroring it out. Um, later on I will be. So basically, uh, all it does is when it sends a signal, that, that basically the track is the power track that sends you off being permanently powered by a torch underneath it. 
and that is being turned off by another torch, which will in turn get turned off, allowing the original torch to turn on, turning on the powered torch every time that the detector rail is set off. And this is just the delay setting it up here. Um, it's just five repeaters all on four tick delay, so it's 20 tick delay. Oh god, why am I yawning? Not too well at the moment anyway, but that can't be the reason. Just gotta fill the redstone in. And settle the delays up. It's a nice amount of delay. It's maybe one, two seconds, something like that. But anyway, that's basically the gist of it. Torch is powering the rail, which is being turned off by the other torch, which will in turn get turned off, allowing the thing to get turned on when you go to the deck to rail. So when a minecart goes over that, it will send a me um, it will send power to fucking too much stuff in my inventory as well. <laughs> Away with you, rails. There we go. So it will push me out in about two seconds. It will because I've already watched this. So it sends a signal. I was really confused at this point, so I was like, what the fuck? It's constantly powered. What's going on here? But, um... Yeah, that's me being stupid. I'm like, why is it still lit? I don't know, because maybe the fucking minecart's still on the detector rail, you dipshit. I'm like, what's going on? Why is it... What's wrong? Why is it still like that? <laughs> fucking hell. Looking back on this, I'm a right div sometimes. And you can do, oh fuck's sake, there we go, and it turns off, because it's not on a fucking rail anymore. But the power from this is just enough to push you up that original little hill, and you'll just hit the rail and then get pushed up, pushed down. But there's too many powered rails on this, you go too fast. Um, so I end up removing all the ones on the flat surfaces, just the ones on the hill and the, the one downwards that I end up changing. But that's basically the gist of it. Off camera... After this episode, because I've got plenty of free time now that I don't have a job. I quit my job at KFC after a year. Not only because I'm going to uni, but I quit my job a month early because I was absolutely fucking had enough of it. It was a terrible job. Yet, not going into that this <laughs> this episode, or maybe not if any episode, because it's a depressingly angry subject for me. <laughs> so, I don't know, if anyone wants to hear about that, I doubt anyone even comments at the moment other than the two I already have um, I was intending on this episode episode 16 not fifth not 17 on 16 to put up someone else's name on the happy board I don't know what I'll fucking call it <laughs> just call it happy board for a, the time being um, it's just a comment saying subbed with a happy face and maybe smile so I'm gonna put them on I'm just looking up now I gotta go on my channel then to blah 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 blah, blah to find comments um, let's see, where are you now, no, uh, there's video manager, that's the one, and then you go on to, uh, inbox, that's the sweet one, that's it, inbox, and then comments, and, where is it, there we go, super nuke boy 666, subbed, Happy face on Minecraft episode 12. So that's going to go on the board next episode. I'm sorry I didn't get to that this episode. Uh, it was at the very front of my mind when I finished the episode, but I was so hyped up about the rail system <laughs> that I kind of... Uh, oh, there we go. Sound being turned on as we speak. I was so hyped up about it that I kind of lost track of anything I actually wanted to do. But I'll definitely do that ne next episode. And when we uh, get the next rail cart system up in the nether, we'll definitely do that. I reckon episode 20 before we install the mod. I reckon every 10th episode will have something special before the mod. Like episode 10 we found the stronghold. Episode 20 we'll probably go to the end and kill the dragon. Mm, just a thought. Episode 30. I, don't, I, don't, I want to kill the dragon before... See that's the problem I had there. <laughs> See the detector rail doesn't sync up with that. It doesn't, the detector rail can't curve. I never use minecarts so this was completely new to me. I had to figure this all shit out on my own at the start. I was like, God damn, this is a bit annoying. I'd extend it out by one block, which not too bad. But you should see me mucking around with it and trying to figure out what the fuck I have to do here. See that don't even link up. So I don't really know anything about minecarts. I know a lot about other things of the game. See that won't even link link up because it's it, it, fucking annoying as hell. And that won't even link up. So I'm like, what the fuck am I supposed to do here? Yeah, the uni course is going to be... It's all settled now. All I have to do is wait till I go on the 15th of September and I live up in Greenwich. And what I'm going to do is definitely... 
I will most... I'm going to say this on a... It's not 100% certain, but I will seriously consider buying a laptop. And I'll put like, Minecraft on my laptop. And I will record while I'm in Greenwich as well. Uh, it won't... If I bring my microphone with me to the campus, then it will be the same quality. Because this is a £200 studio microphone as a special input on my computer. Um, so that's what's up. <laughs> but... Um, what was I going to say? If not, then it'll be a USB thing. I should be able to bring it with me. I don't see why it wouldn't fit in a laptop. But that's something I have to do. Because I spent £400 my own money. I didn't use it from the loan on the deposit. So I don't have the money in my account to go and simply buy a laptop unless it's a cheap one. And I don't really want a cheap one because they're pretty crap. And this is me failing at the redstone because I wasn't... I didn't even know what the fuck I was doing. I was putting it under the wrong one. That's the torch that has to be permanently powered. That don't even need to be there because there's no powered rail there anymore. So I can remove that. Destroy these blocks because they don't serve a fucking purpose. And this torch needs to be permanently turned off by redstone current from this block. Which I'm going to put one there. And then this block is going to be the input for when we want to turn on the powered rail. Simple as... <laughs> bit more simple when you explain it like that. Dam da 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 dam. What am I doing? Destroying the locks. Input time. One, two, three, four, five. Sweet. Fill in the redstone. What I was thinking about doing is making a separate mining area because at the moment I do have a mining area underneath my base. But, I don't know. It it's very useful for uncovering caves, but at the same time, I don't want to destroy everything underneath my base, even though it doesn't really matter too much about that. And now it works like a charm. Sweet. Look how awesome that is. And it will continuously send me backwards and forwards every few seconds. That should be long enough for something to spawn, because I'm in range of both spawners. Sweet! Now that is what you call service. <laughs> so that's all working nicely. And it's a nice slow descent. Plenty of spiders will spawn. And I'm not sure if I went AFK during this to see how many I'd get. Or if I got any at all. But I used this off camera. I used this off camera afterwards. I went for about five minutes. Just uh, going backwards and forwards. And I got... I got a, not a ridiculous amount, but I got a nice amount of XP. And there wasn't that much lag. All the monsters were spread out. So that's yeah, even the same amount, you know, there wasn't... The lag wasn't as bad as it usually is, which is pretty cool. Don't know the, I don't know the reason behind that. <laughs> you see all the zombies coming up? Oh, this is, I know what I did. <laughs> That's exactly what I did when I was recording. That's the only thing I remember. <laughs> and I also uh, went to... I wanted to get loads of iron swords and stuff and helmets and spades. So I went AFK off camera as well on top of the zombie spawner just to get zombies. And I forgot I was there. I was there for a good hour. <laughs> come down there was like 200 fucking zombies there and my computer was going at one frame a second it was ridiculous get a nice amount of shit and that's when I discovered oh look fucking spiders have somehow broke through and it must be that there was a gap that I forgot to there was like an area that I forgot to board up I've got rid of all the lava so that's not the issue <laughs> The issue is that uh, I didn't cover the whole fucking place up. Unfortunately for me. Time for an iron sword to do justice. You gotta love the fucking shit you get from zombies. What I was thinking about getting mod wise is the spawner GUI. Because it lets you choose out of a spawner what mobs come out of it. So for the zombie one, I could change it to creepers, I could change it to skeletons. The spider one I wouldn't change because the drop is consistent and it wouldn't fully kill all of them. And the collection area is specifically for spiders. It wouldn't make much of sense to put regular spiders there because they're bigger and 
they have more health and they drop pretty much the same stuff and the same amount of XP, so it'd be a bit stupid on my in my opinion to do that. So the only one I'd do with a spawner GY would be the zombie one. But how cool would that be? Just to be able to quickly, you know, switch between zombies and creepers and stuff. I could get so much gunpowder like that. And so many arrows and I don't know. I'm not I don't know whether or not fucking hell they're in the wall as well. I'm not sure whether I want to find all the different spawn, uh, you know, a skeleton spawner, and then have a total mob spawner that happens to get me gunpowder. Because I will have that eventually. My m biggest project in this whole Let's Play I'm going to do is going to be the biggest, absolute, most ridiculously time-consuming total mob spawner you've ever fucking seen in Minecraft. Because what happens is that mobs will spawn in a 15 by 15 chunk area around you. That's like 288 blocks or something like that. In each direction. for a, And a certain height above and below you. Basically, I'm going to make a spawner covering that whole area. And it's going to take so long, so many resources. But it should... Basically... Nothing will spawn outside of my spawn trap when I'm in the right place. It's going to be about 200 blocks in the air, and it's going to be above the sea. So if they can't spawn about 128 blocks, I think, is away from you, then as long as I'm at sea level, they're not going to fucking get me. They're not going to spawn, they're not going to not be in the trap. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> like, how the fuck does that work out? You gotta light this place up. That's how they all got out. Oh yeah, fucking die. It's gonna be a massive project. I'm still working on the design. I think I've got it right. It's all gonna mold into the same thing and I will have lighting that will turn it on and off as well. Which it's gonna take a lot of glowstone, if we're honest. A lot of glowstone. A hell of a lot of glowstone. And a lot of redstone. But, with Fortune 3 on our side, we'll have so much XP, we've got diamonds for days as it is. Um, it shouldn't be much of a problem for the lighting. Maybe piston retractable lighting for every part of the, that would be sweet as hell. I want to finish all the farms first, and then we'll work on the total mob system. Because then we can work on other mods as well, and we can do a whole bunch of shit. Oh, my work is never fucking over, is it? <laughs> when I get rid of them underneath there at the side yep. die it, die it, motherfucker Ooh, and below there as well bloody hell <laughs> they fucking get everywhere they do just gotta tear them a new one too much shit in my inventory and I won't ever see that, so I can put the uh, cobble there. Sweet. And there's not much space left in this fucking inventory either. There you go, XP for days. Not for days, really. But XP in general. Sweet. I need more wood, actually. Would have been handy to go and get that last bit down there, but... Who really gives a fuck? Who really gives a fucking fuck, eh? You know what I'm talking about, son? <laughs> yeah, I also at the same time wanted to get rid of that fucking annoying glass array at the back because it serves no point. You can't see dickle. I mean, the, the glass on the glass pane, that's something I want to keep because it lets you see the, zo the uh, spiders better. It gives you a better view, but that one there, I had to get rid of that. It's just annoying me. Now it looks a lot better, doesn't it? It looks all nice and square and all in one place. And I'm not sure I want to do all the floor in this place. I'm not quite entirely sure. The planks can't be all the same colour. The roof and the walls I can deal with. But the floor, I'm not sure. I might make it wool. But then again, I don't want it to get set on fire in case I missed any lava. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this rather different episode, to say the least. I hope you enjoyed this one. And I'll see y'all later in episode 17.